What's up everybody? Dwayne from Hunt Shoot Live here coming at you for Gun Dot Deals. Today I've got the Beretta 1301 Tactical. This bad boy is awesome. If you guys aren't familiar with Gun Dot Deals, be sure to get online and head over there. Gun Dot Deals they're not a manufacturer, they're not a retailer, but they work with manufacturers and retailers to bring you the best deals all in one spot. They've got deals on firearms, tactical equipment, knives, bows. If it's hunting or outdoor related, really, it, they've got it. So head over to gun.deals, check them out, find the best deals that you can find anywhere, and check them out on YouTube. Tons of awesome videos on YouTube about their product. Gun dot deals. You can't go wrong. The Breda 1301 Tactical. This one is in the OD green. It comes in flat dark earth and several other colors. Uh, it's got a three inch chamber, so it'll take a three inch 12 gauge, or it'll take a two and three quarter inch. It is 37.8 inches overall length, and the barrel is 18 and a half inches. Now it comes with a blink gas operating system, and let me just tell you, I tried to make this thing jam in my original video. And I couldn't do it. it <laughs> this is my favorite shotgun that I have ever shot. This is a super nice shotgun and I couldn't make it jam. So I'm really excited today to test this thing out. We're really going to put it through the ringer. Um, more about the factory stuff that it comes with and then I'll talk about the extras. It, it comes with this this textured grip. You know, the, four, the, the grip is textured, the forend is textured. It comes with the swivel studs for a sling. Uh, it's on the front and it does have that on the back. Uh, several people asked me about that after my first video. I really love this oversized handle and the slide release and an oversized safety as well. Those feel really, really good like that. Uh, this is plastic, but it seems like a really heavy duty plastic on that handle. And uh, I mean, it's got a big metal rod on it, so I don't. I would imagine that you're not going to have any problems with that unless you're just really, really, really rough. But even if the plastic did break off, the metal rod is still long enough that it's still going to be functional. Um, Brandon added this pick rail, so this came af uh, after market, and with this quick detach. So that was a pretty cool add-on. It comes with the high vis sights. He has added a primary arms quick release red dot. So in a home defense situation, you know, you've got your really nice uh, optics right here. If, if you needed to just flip that red dot off, use it close quarters and needed some precision at close quarters, or if you just decided on that particular day that you wanted to, to pop that off, you could. And, and the sights are really nice. When I did the test the first time, all I had was the sights that come with it. And they're really, really nice. They stand out really, really good. Okay. So we have an extra full choke in it. It comes with a cylinder bore choke. And use that last time. Obviously a cylinder is gonna throw a pretty good pattern. So we want to test uh, two different things today. We got the turkey choke, so we've got some turkey loads. We're gonna test this thing's ability to pattern uh, out as far as we can continue to get good patterns. Then we're gonna take that out and we've got an improved with some buckshot and we're going to put it more in a home defensive scenario and see how good it performs uh, or with with close up with that buckshot so we're going to really figure out if this is a turkey gun a home defense gun a skeet shooting gun obviously there are better skeet guns out there but uh, my my bet after the initial test is that this thing is going to do anything that we try to get it to do and throwing those chokes in there is going to going to make it happen but uh, but we'll see maybe not but this thing is fun to shoot it feels really good the trigger is awesome and it weighs nothing so you're not going to have any problem carrying it around and you're not going to have any complaints about the trigger i don't think so let's quit talking and let's start shooting we got it set up at 25 yards got the target back there in the background we're going with number five three inch turkey load we're going to see what it does 25 yards checking a pattern with the full choke 25 yards with the 301 that's a turkey load five shot three inch i mean that is absolutely a dead turkey uh this here's my fist so in comparison there that would have been uh 
that would have been a dead turkey for sure. So we'll back it on up, go on back another 10, 35 yards, and we'll try again. Turkey load, full choke, number five with the 1301. 35 yards, full choke. So it did spread a little bit more there, as to be expected, 35 yards. But there are 12 pellets at least in this area right here. So that is definitely going to kill a turkey. We'll back on up just a little bit more and we'll try it at 45 yards and we'll see. But, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to call it a viable out to 35 yards. And of course, this is just one choke. You can get different full chokes, or and you can certainly get different types of loads. This is a number five turkey shot, uh, so you could experiment with all that, and, and you certainly should. But uh, definitely, even with this, going to kill a turkey at 35 yards. Let's get on back to 45. 45 yards. spread pretty big oh, let's yeah. go check it out so that's a no-go definite no-go i wish we had some more uh different loads different uh you know number six shot number four shot uh wish we had another full choke or two to swap out and see i feel like you could you could do better but either way, you know, I, me personally, when I go turkey hunting, I'm wanting them to be in within, you know, 30 yards, and, and it was definitely going to kill them at 35. So it's absolutely a viable turkey gun. You are, you are not going to be uh, sorely disappointed. I, I would wager to say that certainly there are better turkey guns out there, but you're definitely going to be able to at least kill them out to 35, and I think you could do a little better if you didn't mind experimenting. So now let's try the home defense stuff. We're going to slap some buckshot in and uh, see what that's going to do at close quarter. So he's set up at 16 yards, and we have the original choke that came in it. This is the cylinder choke, and he's shooting the buckshot. 16 yards, original choke. So 27. Got 27 holes in this thing. So they did all hit 16 yards away. Uh, what is this? Maybe 3 by 2 something like that. Um, Let's see, let me get my torso in there, see if that would have, that would have probably just, so. yeah, you're going to mean, this, if you're taking into account your arms, then yes, yeah. it, it got yeah. everything. So that, that, I would have, I would have eaten all, all 27 of that. So I'm going to, and, and definitely the most of them were where it matters. So I'm going to say that was very effective. So what we'll do is swap out the cylinder, which is the one that we just used for a modified and we're going to stay right here at 16 yards, put up a new target, and we'll see what the uh, the modified choke tube does with those buckshot. Okay, here we go with the modified 16 yards buckshot. Oh, yeah. So that definitely improved it. Modified improved it. Uh, again, they're all on here, and you can see it's much tighter. So that absolutely that would have, that would have put the majority of them in in the person's core. So at 16 yards with the modified and that buckshot, they're having a real bad night. So uh, I'm gonna scoot in a little tighter now and give it a try. So we'll see what happens if you're even closer quarters with the buckshot. Ooh. Eight yards, buckshot with the 1301. It's it's a bad night. Uh, problem solved. That's with the modified. I, I'm sure that with the factory choke, it's going to be the same story. But just for you guys who maybe you, you, you don't have a plan on buying another choke for it, we'll go ahead and, and slap that one back in and see what it's going to do with the buckshot at eight yards. Eight yards, factory choke. Hey, looks good. So as we suspected, it's just as good with the factory choke and the buckshot close quarters. So we're going to give the old double alt buck a try, since that's a popular load. This is two and three quarter double alt buck. 
and we went ahead and left the factory choke tube in it. We're uh, close quarters. I don't think it mattered if it was point blank or 10 yards. Uh, man, that double alt buck, man, that's... I don't think anybody's going to be asking any questions. The Beretta 1301 Tactical. That was super fun. Uh, I, I did want to cover that it, it comes with two plugs from from the factory they give you two different lengths of plugs we have those out uh, so it holds two and three quarter inch it will hold five plus one and if you've got the three inch it's going to hold four plus one plenty of firepower as you guys saw uh, I, I, I'm very curious as to what it would do if you were able to swap out some different choke tubes and try some different loads you know we uh, you, you could try two and three quarter inch turkey loads in all kinds of different sizes and and uh, if you guys I mean anybody who's familiar with doing that you know you could waste a lot of money just on choke tubes and and on shotgun shells to try to get the right load but even with the random stuff we tried it's at least a 35 yard turkey gun and then for home defense uh, man it's it's wicked it feels so good I, I, I can't think of anything I don't like about it I liked it even before he put this red dot on it. So I really liked the sights that came on it. Um, anything, I'm a fan of, of sights that are white. I, I can really pick that the white dots out really good. And uh, it, it was the same with the, uh, with the front. Nice white dot. So uh, really, uh, really good that way. But you know, with that red dot on there, man, it was just absolutely wicked. And the weight is perfect. I don't think it beats you up badly. I mean, you could start, you probably wouldn't want to shoot three inch magnums all day long, but, and you know, the upgrades, he put the, the, the pick rail on there. You can put the sling on if you want to. Brand, I mean, what do you think? It's your gun. I like it. I mean, primarily I bought it for home defense. Uh, I hate to use the word tactical, it's kind of cliche these days, but that's what I bought it for is, uh, home defense so I was hoping I could do more with it and I still think I can do more with it I definitely between now and next spring I plan on using a different choke tube or two uh, and a few different loads maybe especially some duplex or triplex loads you know you get a mixture of five sixes and sevens in there um, and see how this thing shoots I'm gonna be very surprised if I can't make this into a 45 yard turkey gun mm -hmm. which is pretty decent I mean Absolutely. I know there are 60 yard guns today but if a guy is looking for a really, really nice shotgun that serves more than one purpose, I think this could be it. I could take this squirrel hunting. I could take this turkey hunting. It could defend my home, um, yep. defend my campsite. So I think overall you could do most things with it at least reasonably well. And defensive wise, I think it'd be an excellent choice. So. I'm happy with it. And again today, even shooting it fast, trying to make it malfunction, we couldn't. Uh, it, it just wouldn't malfunction. So it, it runs, runs like a dream. No complaints here either. Hope you guys enjoyed the Beretta 1301 Tactical. Uh, I know I certainly did. Head on over to gun.deals, find you an awesome deal on this bad boy. And while you're at it, head on over to Hunt, Shoot, Live. Appreciate you all. God bless. We'll see you next time.